What did you say? That I am in love with you. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know why it's going on. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to a Wako's Review, the only Nigerian YouTuber. That's all. <laughs> Subscribe, turn on your post notification, like this video, and shake your booty. That's all. <laughs> Roll intro. Wako. It's been a while since I reviewed the men's club, so I'm back. I know you missed me. I know you missed me. No one missed me. No one missed me at all. I missed you, Prince. Who, who said that? Who, who said that in the comment section? I'm actually using this style to like tell you people to 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 say you missed me in the comment. Thank you very much. You've written it already. Thank you. Episode two was titled Ripple Effect, and episode three was titled Moving On. And you know some people call ripple effect fats. So does that mean you are moving on from your fats? <laughs> <laughs> Have you subscribed yet? Aminu is the first person I would review in the show because he's Aminu. No, you don't need his Aminu, that's why. He now knows that Jasmine is pregnant and she's saying the child is for Aminu, but we, we know, we know, we know the child is for his stepbrother. So we can get back on track. On track? Yes. Listen. Our engagement and our marriage. Aminu at first is not having it, so J Jasmine had to dig deep into the book of Nigerian stereotypes for men and pulled out the number one stereotype, which states that all men are weak once they know the woman they don't like has a male child for them. And, and it was somewhat surprising. Who would have thought that it will work on a Nigerian man? A Nigerian man. Man, how many pictures do you want me to put before you know that this is Nollywood? The girlfriend being mute all this while finally got a chance to talk and she talked by walking away. Did, did I mention no one likes this girl? That's why I've forgotten her name. I don't even know. I've forgotten her name, but I'll tell you the truth. One big shocker is that they changed Aminu's stepbrother and, and I like that. Eh? There's no problem. The, the new one is not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. Just leave Jasmine alone. If you want to stay alive, are you hearing me? Are you, are you hearing me? Aminu also found out that his babe has some small family issues. And by small, I mean 18 million. If, if, if you know this guy, you know 18 million is, is nothing. Apparently, the landlord wanted to sell their house, which means to me, to me, no, to me, to me. I'm, I'm actually not joking. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Her name is to switch in my head. Tumini. Tumini. But it sounds like a guy. Is it a guy's name? I don't know. Sha, Aminu's babe will not have a place to stay. And guess what? Guess what? Superman came to the rescue. And did what? You sitting down at the back, you, you raised your hand, you asked. Eh? He did what every reasonable boyfriend should do. He paid off 80 million for a house. Red TV. Please take it easy on us, the mainlanders. Take it easy. This is settling a high bar for us. And you know we like it on a low bar. Hmm? And now, now you are kissing him now. After he dropped a lot of money on your ass. But I'm confused. Why did he not just buy a brand new house for them? Why did he have to buy that house for 80 million? Like for a businessman, I mean, you're like the dumbest person I know. Eh? <laughs> I don't know. Louis, aka Pharrell, aka Tonya's Mumu Button. He is still engaged to her. No one is shocked about that. And if you don't know her, she's currently the one that won that title. Oh my god, what is the name of that award again? Oh yeah, 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 yeah I finally remember. Then she won the, the she won the award for the dumbest character in the YouTube Nigerian series realm. She gets into a force with someone because the person booked her wedding venue already. And I have an issue with Red TV itself um, and the men's club and all the script writers. You people should, you should, you should line up. Eh? Eh, the way you portray money in this show is, is scary. Let me explain. He came first and he paid in deposit. Then she came and, and laughed at him. Ha 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 ha. You don't know that you have to pay Triple the said amount because you don't have any regard for money. You, you people scare me because of this thing. I'm confused. The, the way the people are throwing money in the show scares me. Shocker of the episode was that the guy she schooled is Lewis's to be 
business partner. Now we f- we find out, find out, we find now find out that he's engaged to Lewis's ex, which is Lola or Lula, anyone you want to call her. But this this is a new Lola or Lula from the previous. I'm confusing myself, but this is a new Lola, Lola from the last. Oh my goodness! <laughs> but this is, this is a new one. I hear me. This is a new one. I don't know how I feel about this new one. She's fine, yes. Um, she's, she's very fine, yes. Do I like her? Yes. Is she my? Yes, she's mine. So back off. Back off. I, I know I have an issue with girls. I'm currently just talking to myself. Is it not weird that you people are subscribed to someone that just talks to himself? Like, what if I'm running mad? <laughs> I don't even do. The new Lola is different from season one's Lola in a lot of ways that I won't mention here. But what is surprising is the way Lewis has changed in the past six months. The way he now respects his wife. Nothing changed at all. He's still useless. Tonya, he's going to cheat on your ghost. Tonya, you will win the award next year as the dumbest character in history. In history, I hear me. Louis still tried to get her back, and Lola was not in for it. Apparently, she read one book um, that a lot of side chicks um, are reading nowadays. I, I, I think it was titled "I Am More Than a Side Chick to You. I Deserve a Better Life with Someone That Loves Me Too." Volume Two. That, that is like the dumbest book. Every, the person I wrote that book, you disgust me because you are spoiling, you are spoiling our chances out here. After that, he goes back home and it's just frustrating when a man is is feeling a, some kind of way and the woman, the first thing she that comes to her mind is, oh, do you want to have sex? And I'm like, nah, no. See, I want to talk about my issues. Don't be hitting me up with the, oh, come here, come here, boo boo, come here, come come have one, one, some of this. No, I want to talk. Let's talk it. I'm not a machine. I have emotions. E M O T I O N S. A lot of people thought I would spell it, but I did. Tyre is the last person because um, all Larry did in the past two episodes was just fall in love with someone that made him break up with his previous girlfriend. And by doing that, he thought, Larry thought, <laughs> stupid guy, that um, she would love him because he left his very serious relationship for her. Men, men, men are stupid. See, I hear me. Men, men are, do you think she's entitled to you because she made you leave your serious relationship? Like, what, what, what are you thinking? Dummy. Ty, on the other hand, is still getting drunk in Larry's house. He has a serious issue with women and also alcohol. And because of this, um, Larry prescribed that he should visit a therapist and i find it sad that in nigeria we think speaking to a therapist means we are we are all psychos when it obviously means we are unstable to be around other human beings and even after his friends giving him advice he still wouldn't change he he loves his nine to five you get them nine to five nine p p m five am i'm like the funniest guy and you people don't understand and this is where he finds his new babe she's the stereotype bad girl in the eyes of all nigerian parents she smokes shisha she dances in the club she also has sex for money she, she's a prostitute right i i think she's a prostitute who cares like she comes back with him and, and you start seeing it um, that this babe she, she probably is not okay the, the weird part is when she smiles i know it's confusing but when she smiles it's like something is wrong with her are you okay can you hear me this place is echoed for the effect i hear me can you stop smiling babe after giving him some advice that we don't need at all she leaves and that was it for tayo i don't think any other thing important oh yeah oh wait so uh, i forgot something he also wants to start a new firm that will take over his wife's dad's company and he is doing it um, the sweetest way possible espionage yes guys i said espionage finally espionage Espionage. from the tone of my voice you know i i don't know what espionage means i just reviewed two episodes in one review and it's long as hell so i feel you guys should 
make your expectations so comment down below if you like the review and also comment down below what you expect is going to be happening in the next episode that's going to be coming up on Thursday. that was very fast i don't know how i was able to talk that fast jeez i need to breathe <gasps> Um, but we already know that Jasmine is trying to do something incriminating with her with her boyfriend and and Larry is still in love with his sugar mommy. So what do you think will happen in the next episode? Comment down below. Thank you guys. And and, and speaking speaking wait chief first. Speaking of Larry, and uh, um, please please help me tell him that he should stop pretending like at the intro he did not lose. See see look look at the white ball. It entered the hole. You lost. Stop smiling. <laughs>